Hi you guys, today I'm gonna go over with you the different eating lifestyles. Hi you guys, this is Jen from Epic. Empower people, empower change. Where we give you plant-based living lifestyle tips as well as money tips. So today, I am going to go over with you the different eating lifestyles, the major ones. I'm not gonna go over all of them, but I do get questions here and there. When I go to restaurants, sometimes they're just like, what is what? And I'm just like, I feel like if you work in a restaurant, you should know like the different eating lifestyles. That way you can serve your customer better. But I wanna just go quickly cover over the major ones to make sure that you are empowered to know what kind of lifestyle you want to venture into. Isn't this beautiful? Y'all see this? This is my Misfits goodies that came in. I'll uh, put the link, that's where I get my produce from. Very delicious, uh, an array of colors, all organic, and the great thing about it, it is definitely, the prices are good. <laughs> Also, if something comes in damaged or molded or whatever, they are quick to return my money, mi dinero. And I am so happy about that because I wouldn't have it any other type of way. Uh, so I like that customer service. Keep it up, Misfits. I'll try to ignore all this beautiful food in front of me. But let's go ahead and start off with a very, very, very popular eating lifestyle out there. And that is veganism what is veganism do you know all right i hope you said that they do not eat any type of animal meat did you say that yes vegans do not eat any type of animal meat but they also don't eat products that come from animals so say for instance milk cheese and one of the big ones, one of the big ones is honey. That's a little controversial out there. Some vegans do eat honey because they say it's not harming the bees and some um, don't eat the honey because it's still a product of the bees, the animal. So vegans are really strict on not having anything. I mean, you have goat cheese out there, you have cow's milk, you have, um, of course, no meat. So that's like the main main issue. So that's what a vegan is, a vegan. I know we say we eat vegan, but then we also say that I am a vegan. So it's like, it's how you use it in this sentence, I guess. But so veganism is like really more strict. They don't do anything. Eat a lot of uh, plants, but also, of course, you have to be cautious on making sure you have the right vitamins and your nutrients from the plants that you're eating. Supplement as needed. I'm not gonna really go into raw vegan, but what you can understand about a raw vegan, a raw vegan, a raw veganist, they just don't cook anything. Everything is like whole foods, raw plants, uh, they do eat, like, they just make everything out of just not cooking it. It's very fascinating. I, I really think it is super amazing how they do that, how they live their lives. But there are a lot of raw veganists out there. Uh, but regular, your everyday vegan, they'll eat cooked plants. They'll eat breads, uh, processed, they'll eat processed vegan foods. Raw veganism, really, they don't eat processed anything. All right, and then you will find a different uh, renditions of different vegans out there. So we talk, cover the vegans, no animals, no products from animals, except for the honey, maybe, maybe so. Okay, now we're gonna go into vegetarians. You know what a vegetarian eats? All right, I hope you said they pretty much eat lots and lots of plants, fruits and vegetables, but they eat products that come from animals. So vegetarians will eat milk, cheese, honey. Well, main thing is like dairy, eggs. They'll have, they'll have like, they'll eat a lot of those things. Now, again, there's gonna be vegetarians out there that might eat this, may not eat that. And it's, you know, just do you. <laughs> All right. But just know vegetarians will eat lots of plants, and they will add in the eggs, the milk, the cheese, anything that comes from the plant, 
but it's not killing the animal per se. You understand it's not killing the animal, whatever they eat, all right? That is a vegetarian. And again, there's a couple of subgroups of vegetarians that you'll find there are some that don't eat, don't drink milk, but they'll have eggs. There's some like, in, in, yeah, it's a little complicated there. All right, so pretty much in a nutshell, that's what a vegetarian. They, they just add in the byproducts, the products from the animal. Now, another popular one out there, so you'll typically see like vegans, vegetarians, and pescatarians. Yes, I did not say presbyterian. <laughs> <laughs> because so many people think, every time I say pescatarian, they're like, Presbyterian? What church is that? I'm like, no, <laughs> pescatarian, okay? Pescatarian is pretty much vegetarian, but they add in seafood, all right? So seafood, meaning shrimp, crabs, fish, uh, and anything that comes from the sea, all right? <laughs> So that's what a pescatarian is. So it's just a bump up from the vegetarian to where they have seafood in their diet. Does that make sense? Pescatarian, pesky, I don't know if that's Latin, Spanish, I feel like it's something Spanish, but Latin too because they're like so similar with the pesky part, pescatarian. A lot of people still ask us like how we still eat our, our food. I eat, I, I cook in the house vegan. Like I try my best, everything is pretty much vegan, uh, plant-based, high amounts of plant-based. We don't really eat seafood in the house. I don't cook seafood in the house anymore. If I go, if we go to a restaurant, we may have it. For the most part, we'll end up usually eating something vegan. <laughs> That's what we're just so used to eating. Uh, like an orange bowl I have right behind me, I made untuna fish, which is like chickpeas, and I use nori flakes and, and kalam namak salt, and I make everything pretty much vegan in the house. Um, my kids just eat whatever we make, or whatever I make. I made vegan chili the other night, but somebody ate it all. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> All right, but anyways, you know, you're probably wondering which eating lifestyle should I embark upon? My thing is this, as y'all have heard in my other videos, we did it for health reasons, okay? We were just having a lot of health problems. So I did a lot of research. We transitioned slowly to pescatarianism. And we've been on that journey ever since. Like I said, now we probably eat like 95% vegan now and I, we barely have seafood or other things that are not uh, in the vegan category. Um, but no meat, I haven't had chicken. Yes, I'm black and I have not had chicken in like 11 years. <laughs> I'm still alive, y'all can survive, it's okay. My kids, they haven't, they probably had like couple of times when they were younger and that was it. And they're fine, they are growing healthy and strong. You know, what is key is your health. Now, if you are an animal activist and you're like, you feel very strong about animal activism, you know, you do you, that is great. That is, you know, perfect for you. If you choose to do it for health, I want you to understand that that is great. That is a journey that my family went on years ago. And I mean, from our, our blood work being, uh -huh, uh, to our blood work being in optimal levels based off of our eating lifestyle. And that's how we gauge how we eat. We gauge it off of our health, what our doctor says in our lab report, our triglycerides and cholesterol, everything is at optimal levels. Our HDLs are always super high, our LDLs are always super low. Some, at times they don't even register because we're not eating meat. We don't eat those cholesterol filling foods that clog up your arteries. Our arteries are clean. Thank God, you know? So if aside from activism, totally understand why you don't eat meat. But if you're doing health, just do yourself a favor. Follow up with your doctor, get blood work. Find out, is your blood work improving? Are you going to be risk for cardiac disease? And the thing is, you know, cardiac disease is the number one killer around the world. Cardiac disease. 
And why is that? Because of the consumption of meat products and dairy and eggs and all of that stuff. So you need to lower that. So one other important thing is when you're getting your blood work done by your physician every three years, to let it happen, make it happen. You can even do it every year if you want. Whatever you do, just get it done. Is making sure you are taking supplements. A lot of times iron, vitamin D is, is super important. Your vitamin B12, we take supplements for those things. People are like, oh, well, you gotta take supplements. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't eat that. Listen, Linda. <laughs> I would rather take supplements for the small amount of vitamins that I need versus being at risk for cardiac disease. Doesn't that make sense? And follow up with your doctor to make sure your iron levels are good, your vitamin D levels are good, your vitamin B, B12, your B12, you know, blood work is good. And then the doctor can prescribe a stronger vitamin for you or you can just take over the counter. Whatever floats your boat, just get it done. Okay, and I'm not here to pick on anyone that chooses to eat meat, chooses to eat tons of dairy, tons of eggs. You know, you can do those things, but I beg of you, give your blood work done because you don't want to be walking around at risk for cardiac disease and not really knowing, okay? Super important, again, cardiac disease is the number one killer around the world, especially in America. Top, one of the top killers as well as cancers are. And a lot of times it's what you're eating as well as lack of exercise that's influencing a lot of that stuff in your life. So please, please, please take care of your health, okay? A lot of people feel like, oh, you know, that's so extreme to go vegan. No, it's not. If you think about what they do to your body once you have a heart attack or once you have any type of um, artery clogging issue, the stuff that they do, the surgeries that they have to take place in your body to repair things, that is pretty extreme. Versus just changing the way you eat, understanding how food impacts your body. To me, that is just wise. So I just wanna encourage you out there, whether you want to do vegan, whether you want to do vegetarian, whether you want to do pescatarian, whether you wanna do any type of rendition of any of those, always follow up with your physician to look at your blood work. My family, we, we're proactive. We get our blood work done about every three years because we wanna see you know, what's going on in our body and not just eating because, oh, someone said it was a great idea. No, it's really based off of how is our body reacting to how we're eating. To me, that is wise. And I hope what I'm saying empowers you to choose the right eating lifestyle for yourself, but also following up with what is it doing to your body? You want to have a clean body so you can live out your purpose and you can do it strong. You don't have to worry about a lot of being in the hospital. Some people do ask me based off of our eating lifestyle, do we get sick? Yeah, of course we get sick, but we don't do antibiotics. We drink green tea, we'll increase our, con our consumption of oranges, uh, lots of green tea, lots of oranges, lots of green smoothies, berry smoothies, lots of extra probiotics, and guess what? It's usually gone within like three, three, four days. It's gone. And we have not taken antibiotics or whatever, antivirals. There's some other things that we do as far as nutritional to increase our immune system. Because that's what we focus on is our immune system, boosting that up. I hope that was some really good content for you. I hope you are leaving this video empowered to make better choices about your eating lifestyle, as well as you understand the difference between vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, and you can choose what works best for you. So it was good to fill your empowered cup today. This is Jen signing off from Ethic Empowered People, Empowered Change.